Okay, in this video, I would like to make a simple tutorial about how to make simple PUI in the Autodesk Fusion 360. Before I get started, uh, I want to say that the process of design of 3D and also uh, mechanical parts is the combination between art and also technical. So it is not uh, purely technical, so you always freely to use your own step by step as long as the final result are the same but you must remember that your design must be efficient so you can easily edit it or if you send it to your client your client can understand easily to edit your design okay let's just start it uh, in this tutorial i want to make a pulley with the revolve uh feature so maybe in the next tutorial i want also make the assembly between pulley and also shaft and bearing and i also make other video of course about the shaft gear and and, and other mechanical parts okay first step we must define our sketch by choosing uh, by uh, using this create sketch and choose one of the plane let's say this this uh, plane and I want to make a center line by using this center line just put an arbitrary value let's say I want to make the pulley with a uh, section profile like this of course you always also you uh, always check the reference about mechanical engineering design or mechanical part standard to find the best uh, dimension to your specific application and um, let's say the shaft diameter will be 14 millimeter and the hub diameter let's say uh, 30 or uh, 40 you can see that if we use the center line and we create the dimension it will be automatically become a diameter and for the outer uh, for this diameter let's say I want sorry for this diameter, I will use let's say 150. And before we edit this, let make, make sure everything is constrained. For example, this must be lef one level with with this line, so we use this collinear constraint. Also, we must collinear all other lines. And we also want to make the symmetrical constraint between left and right. So we use an arbitrary uh, value. Sorry, uh, use this construction line in the middle of the sketch. Make sure it is vertically constrained. And then we uh, symmetrically constrain these lines sorry first click the one side and second side then click the middle plane or middle line apply for all these features and we can continue to, to edit this uh, feature let's say i want to make this thickness um three millimeter oh yeah we forget to constrain this one and um, I want to make this groove for example 60 degree and of course it will depend on your V-belt dimension then um, this dimension I will use 5 millimeter let's say oh it is already constrained then um this width let's say 20 millimeter 
okay and it is not constrained yet because uh, we need to define this depth of the V belt let's say 10 millimeter mm, not yet uh, oh we must make it in the middle let's say but it is not uh, necessary actually just want to make sure everything is constrained okay and the thickness of the police body let's say um, 12 millimeter and the half uh, thickness let's say uh, 28 uh, make sure everything is become black line every line become black and it is the best practice to make sure there's no error in the uh, next step so I will also make a fillet or chamfer maybe right here uh, two millimeter let's say okay and also to make the shaft slot easier I also want to make seem a uh, little chamfer here 0.5 and I also want to make a one millimeter chamfer to avoid the uh, sharp edges so here of course you can also create the chamfer after you create the 3d revolve but it is uh, in my preference it is easier if you edit it in this sketch okay everything is set up then i want to make the revolve and here we are our pulley and uh, to reduce weight let's say i want to make the uh, cutting here let's make a construction line as a reference then um, i will create also another construction line This is just to help uh, creating the dimension easier, but we should first make it symmetry. And I want to make the whole profile. Let's say the inner diameter uh, 50 and the outer diameter is 140 then we connect these lines just to make sure I use this constraint oh okay I first has to make the I have to make the angle let's say I want to make it 50 degree or um, 7 60 maybe and constrain this oh I think I double click during making this line okay and I can create extrude this to cut the line or to cut the thickness uh, we can make the fillet here or maybe in the sketch when you are editing the sketch it is uh, your preference let's say the fillet uh, maybe the outer fillet is 10 millimeter and the 
inner fillet, let's say um, 5 mm. Then I want also to make this pattern, of course, by using the feature. First, I want to uh, pattern the extrude cut, then the fillet. It is easier to click these uh, features and select the axis and let's say I want to make four cut if you want to make it uh, um, with the higher angle you just edit this angle but you must remember you will also reduce the strength of the pulley so we must run finite element analysis let's say to, to make sure the strength is uh, sufficient and one more i think i want i need this hub to be longer so i can uh, create the key wait i forget when when i oh this one I, let's say i want to make it 35 And I want to make a key here by using XY plane. Let's say just utilize this plane. I want to slice it to check. And I want to make 4 millimeter diameter of a key. Or maybe the the um, uh, wait, sorry, something like this to hold this pulley with the shaft using uh, fastener, and the last touch is using this thread. You can. Uh, edit your profile and we also make a chamfer here to make the assembly easier i think that's all you uh, can follow this step or you can change the dimension according to your own preference okay thank you for watching i hope you enjoy this video please leave in the comment if you want to request other tutorial thank you